Welcome back to Office Hours with Dr. Doug. We had a bonus segment this time with Charles Polakoff, professional trader. Charles has been good enough to hang around a little more to talk more about the mental game and how to overcome it, deal with it, some of those traps. So, Charles, you want to talk about the fear of missing out, right. which I've touched on before in uh -huh. different segments, but let's hear your take as a professional trader on the inside. Well, first of all, I can tell you that as a professional trader, this is probably the one element that I've wrestled with the most in my career. Okay. As a matter of fact, I've probably become, and, and I shouldn't be, you know, this is, this is certainly not something I'd want to condone for anybody. But, um, you know, having a fear of losing is one thing. It's healthy. Right. Um, but having an unhealthy fear of missing out right. can be particularly destructive. Okay. Because you are then putting on what I call shot trades. Okay. Um, everybody has a setup. Whether you're a long-term investor, uh, you know, a short-term investor. You know, if, you're, if, you're, if your viewpoint is strictly fundamental, you always have an approach that says, okay, if my stock hits, you know, certain price multiple to earnings or EBITDA or you see certain, you know, macro turn and these are all the things that line up for you that allow you to want to put out a position, mm -hmm. then that's your discipline. Same thing in the short-term trading world. If I have certain technical indicators that are hit, if I see certain, a confluence of, you know, quantitative elements that are hit for me, then I put on the trade. But it's that, you know, I've missed out on one opportunity right. and I don't want to miss out on the next right. that forces me to lax my disciplines. Okay. And I've done this many, many times. So more times you, you say it causes over trading? It causes, well, it causes two things. One, over trading, okay. and it causes you to put on positions you normally would never ever Now the great on. question. How do you, you've, you've survived uh -huh. 12 years, consistent returns, profitability, doing it all yourself, entrepreneur, meritocracy, making it happen. What's the key? What's the critical element there? Self-awareness is the most important thing. Understanding what your triggers are, what it is that goes off inside of you mm -hmm. that uh, sort of creates this series of events okay. or is a catalyst behind these what series of events. What goes off inside of you? For me, it's a fear of missing out. There's okay. something, and I become reactive. Okay. So instead of being proactive, right. where I'm patiently waiting for my setup, I become reactive, where I just see maybe one indicator Fine. go off. You notice it? Red flag goes off. We've, uh -huh. all, we've all heard the stories about Soros right. saying when his back hurts, he knew his portfolio was out of balance. Right. So you recognize the trigger. My question then, what do you do? Um, when I'm trading well, I step away. You mean literally get up from the desk and walk away? I literally... But there's <laughs> opportunity in the market. There's money being made. But I'm not thinking clearly. And so what does that mean? That means I shouldn't be participating in the market. Because? You know, well, let's use the sailing analogy, okay. right? There's the... When the knots are 20... You know, when, when the winds are blowing at 20 knots and you have a beautiful sunny day or 14 right. knots, you want to be out there in the sailboat, right? Right. But when there's a hurricane and you missed out on the beautiful day from yesterday, it doesn't mean jump out on the boat and start sailing today. Okay. It's sort of the same thing. If not everything I want is lining up the way I want it to be right. and I'm still trading then there should be something going off in my mind that says, take a step back. Even sometimes what I'll do is, I'm not a big fan of all or nothing decisions in just about any aspect of life. But with trading, I'll take a huge step back. I'll cut my capital down to, you know, 5% of my shares in capital. You know, if I need to be involved, if, if there's something unhealthy happening inside of me that forces me to be involved, right. I'll put those positions on, you know, but I'll put them on with such infinitesimally small size. And even then, that ends up being a loser. The best thing, my, my best advice I can give is, is if you're not where you need to be, right. simply take a step back. Charles, great advice. Timeless advice, which is the importance about what we're talking about here with Office mm -hmm. Hours with Dr. Doug. Thank you all for joining us. Charles, thanks for hanging around for the bonus segment. My pleasure. It's been a pleasure. Any good chance to get to hang out with you is always a good time. <laughs> Any you. questions or comments, please feel free to go to my website, drdoug.com. We'll see you next time.